Are you a vibrating jig chatterbait fan? Is there any better bass fishing lure that just catches them? I'm a massive fan of the jackhammer. I think it's insane. I also think the melee and the thunder cricket and the slobber knocker are great. However, I think there's one that you should be investing in. And there's some setbacks to it, but it catches everything from panfish to mudfish to walleye to giant largemouth bass to any freshwater fish. And it's one of those little chatterbaits or small compact chatterbaits that not a lot of people use. It's from Z-Man and it's called the Flashback Mini. Now, why should you have this small flashback mini in your box? Well, there's a lot of reasons. There's some pros and some cons. To be honest, I really don't think there's anything wrong with the jackhammer. I think that you can go out there, well, maybe price. I think you can go out there and use it. But this mini does something different than the jackhammer does. While it still starts up really fast, gives you good vibration, gives that thumping action and a little bit of flash because of that front uh, blade being either gold or silver. It does everything. It looks like a small little fish that's trying to get away, but it has that thump. And as you can see inside of it, it has that great or a great shine inside. It has, it has that flash inside of it, which attracts fish to come eat it. It's a small, compact chatterbait that really is much better than you'll ever imagine. It's almost too good and to be truthful i think this is a bait that not enough people are using or have in their tackle box and i believe it's a must have right now so not every bait is perfect but there's some little pros and cons that this bait just exceeds at so we have to talk about the cons to start off with it only comes in two at two sizes a 1 8 and 1 16 ounce and that's very light, but that also allows you to put it in the upper water column with just keeping a steady retrieve. Next, because it's so light, it doesn't really cast very well. It doesn't really cast very long, so if you want something that has that long bombing cast to fish, you're not gonna get it with this because it's just, it is really, really light, and that's a problem. And then the last thing I've noticed with this bait is that the hook isn't as sturdy and heavy as you probably want. It's not like a jackhammer hook. It's meant to be lightweight. So at times, if you catch something big, this hook will start to straighten out at, on you. So you need to have something, a pair of pliers or something that you can move it back. But those are only three negatives I have found with this. In terms of the positives, I just think the biggest positive it has is that it catches everything. You can catch small fish, you can catch large fish. It really has, completes the spectrum of fishing from your trout to your walleye and bigger fish, your pike and your muskie. This is a great bait. It is inexpensive. It is like six, seven dollars. You can't beat that. You do get two baits with it. One is this regular tail and then the other one is a curly, paddle, a curly paddle tail for it. And that's kind of cool. Both have that iridescent flash inside of it and that attracts fish. And they, the, the other thing is, is that the blade starts out crazy fast. As soon as you start to reel it, you start to get that vibration and that thumping in your rod. So it's one thing that I say it's a must have bait, but here's the truth of the matter. I could go and tell you all the, the statistics and all the, the stuff about this lure, but here's what it comes down to. It just catches fish and it's simple. I think if you have somebody that's a new angler or a child that you want that's just learning how to cast, they can cast this out and just make cast after cast and let the bait do its work. You don't have to jig it. You don't have to bounce it off the bottom. You don't have to worry about how it's rigged. It's done properly for you. So when you make that cast, all you have to do is reel it in. And I think there's something to be said for lures like that, that you don't have to retune or do this stuff like that. So when I say must haves, it's a must have because it's just simple and easy to use. So there you have it.